Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today for this stitch tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make the puff stitch. This is a sample of the puff stitch here and it is a great textured stitch. It um, has a smooth texture, almost resembles sort of pebbles kind of on a seashore. Uh, it's used in a variety of projects, everything from garments to winter accessories to blankets. In recent years, you may have seen the puff stitch being used to create letters or images in, uh, in, in blankets and in washcloths. So this is the puff stitch and... Uh, Let's uh, let's get to it. Grab your hook and your yarn and we'll get started. For the puff stitch, the way I'm going to work it today, which is sort of that staggered look that you saw there, we are going to be uh, chaining an odd number of stitches. So today I'll make a chain of 15 and then I will add one for my turning chain, so a total of 16 chains. One, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then one more for my turning chain. Then to give myself a foundation to work in, I'm just going to single crochet in each chain all the way across. And then once you have your row of single crochet stitches across for your foundation, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. And now we will get ready to make a row of our puff stitches. But before we do that, I'd like to invite you to go on over uh, to the notes of this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me across uh, social media. I like to update my channel and provide uh, weekly crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me. So for our row of puff stitches, what we're going to do is we're going to start by single crocheting in the first stitch. And then we will be ready uh, to work our first puff stitch. To work a puff stitch, all you're going to do is you're going to yarn over you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And you are going to do that for a total of four or five times. Some people like to do it five times. It gives you a bit of a thicker, uh, more larger puff. Or depending on your yarn, you might only want to do it four times. Today I'm going to be doing it four times. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop, and do that four times. So that was one, two, yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. That's two. So three, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch and draw up a loop. Three, and yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, and that's number four. So if you are working it so that you uh, drop a loop four times, as I am, you will have a total of nine loops on your hook. And I can kind of pull them apart there. Nine loops. Now, an instance where you may want to do uh, a repeat of five times uh, is if you're working with a thinner yarn. Uh, it will make your puff a little bit more full. But today I'm working with a worsted weight cotton and I... Uh, I find the yarning over and inserting your hook in the same stitch four times works quite well. So once you have nine loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull your hook through all nine of those loops. You may have to wiggle your hook a little bit to get it through, but you're going to pull it through all nine and that is the, um, the completion of your puff stitch. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch and then I will work another puff stitch so that they are spread out but not right on top of one another. So I've done a single crochet, a puff stitch, and you will see that your puff stitch is being pushed forward to the front of your work. 
and then I've worked another single crochet. I'll show you the puff stitch once, once again. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, and drop a loop. And you're going to repeat that. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. That's two. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Each time I'm pulling them up onto the shaft of my crochet hook to make sure that they're even. And then yarn over, insert your hook uh, into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Once you have a total of nine loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all nine loops. Wiggle it a little bit to get it through and you'll be left with one loop remaining on your hook. Single crochet in the next stitch. And I'll show you one more puff stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, do that four times. One last time. Once you have nine loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through. So if I, um, I'll single crochet in the next stitch and then I'll take a moment to show you the front of my work because this is the back. All my puff stitches are being pushed to the front. So you can see my puff stitches here in a row like that. So I'm going to continue this all the way across, across single crochet, puff stitch, single crochet, puff stitch, and then I will show you the return row. So the final stitch in your puff stitch row will be a single crochet in the last stitch, and then you're going to turn your work. You're going to chain one, and you're going to turn. Now you're going to just work a return row of single crochet stitches. And that's to get your hook and your yarn back to the other side. You will single crochet in each uh, single crochet and puff stitch all the way across because you're going to want your puff stitches all on the same side of your work. So you'll always need to do this return row back. first stitch and then we're going to chain one and we're going to turn. Now to work another row of puff stitches I could uh, do anything at this point. I can work them so that they are in line with one another or uh, I can leave blank spaces. This is where you can kind of uh, use a chart to decide where you want to place your puff stitches and make your designs or whatnot. I'm going to just stagger them a little bit and show you one more row. So to stagger them, I'm going to single crochet in the first two stitches. There's one and there's two. And then I'm going to work another puff stitch. So you'll see on the other side that this is going to sort of alternate them in between one another. Single crochet in the next stitch and then work another puff stitch. Yarn over, insert four times. Single crochet in the next. I'll work one more puff stitch and then I'll turn it around for you to see and then you're off to the races. There we go. So if we turn this over, you can see I have my puff stitches here. They uh, are lined up here at the bottom and then I have one kind of up top uh, in between each one. So you can do a number of different designs and, uh, and that with your puff stitches. So once again, thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me across social media where I like to bring you weekly crochet tutorials and free crochet patterns. 
Thank you so much. Crochet something beautiful today. Happy crochet. <laughs>